Hi everyone, I'm Megan Benanti and I'm here with your reading for today. So today I'm reading for the moon hermits out there. So if your birthday adds up and reduces to 18, which is the moon, and then one plus eight equals nine, which is the hermit, then this reading will apply to you. So birth cards are kind of my jam and that's how I'm gonna go forward on YouTube is providing birth card readings for you. So look every month for your moon hermit reading. All right, so let's see what we've got. Um, first off, um, your focus this month for January of 2021. Um, in your personal life, it feels like things aren't fully satisfying for you right now and that you're trying to navigate this and it's just kind of like, it feels like you're spinning your wheels and it's like, I can't make anybody happy and um, and maybe you're not feeling like you're happy with anything yourself. And I think that's the really key element uh, to acknowledge here is that no you can't make anybody else happy in fact it's not even your job to make anybody else happy but you might if you're really feeling like you're not fulfilling the people around you then are you fulfilling yourself because it starts with you and if you're in a good place then you have something to offer if you're not then you don't and so January you're kind of navigating through this um, now looking at your career too, you it feels like you've got a leader or a boss in your career area that might be going through something personal in his or her life. Um, that energy is um, making it a little more difficult for you in the work environment. Um, there might also be uh, a romantic relationship for you in the work environment that is causing you some problems and it it feels like there would be a disconnect with this person at work then and that being difficult in there so just kind of be aware of that um, I want you to navigate this carefully over the month and it seems to be a focus of your intention um, is how to get through with dealing with these things um, now when we also want to look, oh, interesting. So your next one, um, I've got Ace of Wands in reverse and Ace of Cups. And so um, both ones, which is really exciting. And we're looking at like what you can accomplish this year, uh, or for January, pardon me, um, for the focus of January. And in many ways, I think on a personal level, you're not really sure either what you want or where you're going to start with that. And it's more like, where where do I begin? And, you know, I think there might be a little bit of a desire to have a creative hobby of some kind, but you seem to be having a hard time deciding on what that is or what the focus needs to be. And I'm like, oh, just just do something. Don't feel like it has to change the world or, or that it even has to be perfect or even good. Just do something creative and let your let that energy flow through you and it might be a little bit of a struggle finding the time too if it's like oh i got this new instrument and now i can't practice because i don't have the time just take a moment here and there as you can because i think it's going to be it's going to help you find kind of a new rhythm and a new beat um and uh also this month is not on a personal level it's it's gonna be less about leaning on other people and you're like, well, I'm a moon hermit. I don't lean on anybody, I lean on myself. <laughs> but I, I do feel like you're stepping away from the idea um, that, uh, you know, you don't want to feel like you're a burden to anybody. And so you seem to be being very conscientious of that in this month. Um, work though if there is something that you have wanted to happen in your work environment you're so open and ready for that and you know emotionally receptive and ready to be vulnerable and learn new things and uh, not be afraid of what information might come at you in, in your work environment so I do feel like January is going to be very pivotal for you at what you might begin to take on or be open to uh, in your career um, let's see uh, oh interesting so I asked what your great challenge would be for this month um, and in your personal life it's more about being consistent steady and consistent um, loyalty uh, comes up with this 
And it's also interesting as I look at it, um, I have a, a Knight of Pentacles and he's, his hand is being kissed by a woman and he's not even looking at her because he's just slayed a dragon that's dead in the background and he's got a broken sword and he looks very forlorn, but at the same time, there's not a speck of blood on him. Like he doesn't look beat up. So, um, you know, I think the thing for you is One of the, so when I'm looking at this, um, I'm feeling like there's a sense of trying to keep it all together and like look really polished and yet you've just slain a dragon um, and then you're supposed to be there for your friends and your loved ones and you're like, oh my God, I'm so over this. And, <laughs> and I, I, it's okay, you can be over this. Um, so the challenge is kind of, kind of be there for everybody in the way that you think you need to be there. And maybe you don't have to be so perfect. And part of that is letting go of that perfection. Um, so, and with work, oh, there is a big shift in work. Um, and it feels a little bit like an identity crisis to me. So um, I was like, oh, well, this could be a big, massive, exodus layoff kind of situation but i also think what one of the things we're laying off is like or letting go of is um personality heavy intense personalities it's like no we just need people that are willing to work it doesn't matter you know if you generally have a good attitude that's what we need but we don't need people that are going to come in and show off and and bring all this persona to the table we just want people that work hard and so um I think you're going to see a big shift in the expectation of the workplace for you. Um, and some people might decide to go because of that, but, um, you know, I really feel like the company's like, we got a clean house and we can't put up with you guys. And they don't want to lay anybody off, so they might, because, uh, you know, then they have to look at retirement packages or severance packages, things like that. and. I think they're going to come up with another solution, which, you know what, it could be pay cuts, it could be uh, bonus cuts, things like that, and then hopefully people will just sort of go with that strategy. So I just kind of want you to be prepared. There's some shifting that feels um, like it's going to be pretty tough for you in the work environment. Um, now, okay. Um, this could be kind of a, a tough month for you emotionally. Um, I just want you to be prepared to not be taken by surprise. Um, just a lot of emotion coming out in your personal life. Um, you know, and for those of you that are female, it feels like there might be something around your period, like it's either a heavy flow or something's off on timing, um, like it's not on the, your regular day. So. Just be aware of that, that's kind of coming in on this situation. Um, for some of you, there might be more of a concern about a female in your life, uh, perhaps a mother, a sister, a loved, uh, you know, someone that you love. Um, and with that, she, whatever you are taking seriously and the other person, I don't feel like they're taking that seriously. They're not wanting to look at it. They're not ready to deal with this yet. And I, so you're worrying about them but they're not necessarily worrying about them or they're not, they're not showing that. Um, it doesn't mean they don't care, but everybody has to process in their own way. And so it's just, it's kind of an interesting dynamic that's happening here. Um, if there is a layoff at work, um, I do think that you will probably be uh, passed by on that, on this round. Um, but that's not necessarily easing your conscience <laughs> at this point. It's like, oh, but is it still coming? Like, what's going on here? Um, so, you know, with this energy, I think one of the things you have to be aware of is help is not coming for you. You're going to have to kind of push through and navigate on your own right now, which, oh my gosh, if anybody can do it, it's a moon hermit. You guys are trailblazers at solving problems and forging ahead everybody and clearing the past so others can come through. So, 
just know that if you've got to get through this, like you totally can and don't get in your own way. You've got this nailed, totally. Okay. Um, now, the one of the things I wanted to consider too is what you're offering in your relationship. Now that can be with, uh, in a partnership, but this again can also be family or loved ones. You offer freedom. You are so open to letting your partner explore what they need to do for themselves, to make their life right. And so I see you as being a really powerful, supportive partner um, that is not putting demands on your, on your relationship, which is really, really amazing and good. Um, and as a moon hermit, uh, you know, that can be a strength for you, except for when you get really insecure or uncertain about things and you're like, I need more. <laughs> um, so I feel like you're, you're really tapping into some of your stronger powers. Um, oh, a new focus on self care. Interesting. Out of, out of the four aces, you've got uh, three of them today. So lots of new beginnings for the hermit who's a nine and that's the last of our single digits representing closure. So I think for you, there's been a lot about ending 2020 with December and then 2021, first month, first, uh, the year ending in one, you're like, okay, we're gonna embrace all the ones that we can, all the newness and manifestations that can come forward here. Let's dive into that energy. So um, your self care is really, it's writing down and beginning to think and focus on that manifestation of things. Um, yes, you could do like a vision board with this, but I'm really thinking more about written words and articulating what's important for you. So maybe that's writing it in your journal. Maybe it is um, uh, writing it down and posting it up somewhere where you can see it. Um, but I really feel like you're defining on your own terms what's going to be right for you. Um, and that looks super powerful and a great step for you to take um, because this is going to be something that you're not going to just use this year. You're really going to be carrying it forward. And by the way, I, I do feel like somewhere, it feels kind of like February, March, you're going to be challenged and you're going to go, oh, I made the wrong goals. Like this isn't going to play out. Um, it's too hard, whatever the situation is, like it's not going to be easy and you will be pushed in those months, but that's when you've got to push right on through. Um, because I do think you can create some pivotal shifts because of your manifestations, uh, that are going to be happening in this January. Okay. Um, all right. Now, as we look at paying it forward, um, one of the things that I want you to acknowledge is that it's going to be acknowledging others. And um, I know that right now there's a sense for you that maybe you're not being acknowledged for the hard work you're doing. And it's like, well, how in the world can I give that to someone else? Well, easily, you just do it. <laughs> so so um, I, I want you to go out into the world and you know show your appreciation to others. This is really going to make a difference. Um, and I know it's going to be pushing you out of your comfort zone as a hermit. Um, however, your moon side is super social and you do connect with people emotionally and empathically. And so I really think this is, is honoring the people that deserve honor and then supporting those that maybe haven't made it yet. Um, like they do some things right in the workplace, but they don't get it all right. Well, keep the encouragement going. Um, it's also going to be honoring and showing appreciation to people that you feel are um, beneath you or in service jobs that aren't doing what you're doing. Um, and so, you know, it's just showing gratitude and appreciation there. Um, and so, and you know, specifically like if it's, if it's a waiter though, it's, it's showing that in tips and things like that. I don't think you have to go overboard, but it is common commenting and, um, and allowing them to, to see that they did a good job. So, all right, Moon Hermit. So I hope that helped for you today. Please let me know um, or if you have any comments or uh, constructive feedback. I'm really open to listening to those things. I'm new to YouTube as far as like really developing my own channel, but I do want to go forward with doing these birth cards for you guys each month. So um, yeah, anything that will help me out, um, that would be great. Uh, if you want to book a reading with me, you can reach me at tarotalice.com. 
Um, I have, you know, in-person readings, uh, on the phone readings, and I can also do Zoom if you want that as well. Um, but I look forward to working with you guys again. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.